Hi there! Welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Now, in this video, so we were talking about our little ones and <laughs> it's funny, after the weeks I've had, uh, my whole morning routine has changed. Um, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I say is good morning to my body. Good morning, body. Thank you for another day. I love you. And then I say good morning to my five-year-old because that was the moment that I felt displaced, cast aside. So I grab that little five-year-old and I give her a big hug. And I say, I love you. Let's go see what adventure we can have today. And recently, there's been a few different places I see this hope. Oh, oh, I can't even pronounce it, but I'll write it on the screen. <laughs> The Ho Opono Opono, I think it is, something like that. And it's for statements. And I didn't think much of it this last time I've seen it. I saw it when I did the sound healing course I did. That was the first time. No, it wasn't the first time. I saw it the first time with Joe Vitale. That was in The Secret. It was on Facebook and he's always talking about it. Then I saw it in the sound healing course. And then lately I've seen it through Aaron Doherty. He talks about doing this meditation try it for 21 days he says so I thought, okay I'll give it a go it's been two days and every time I do it I feel like there's a cleansing of my energy I can't explain it but I don't even do it just for myself I do it for each of the beings like as I'm doing this trip this year to see my parents and I know my parents are holding on to so much pain from their past they've had very rough childhoods you know I mean my mum lost her parents when she was five so she's been through a lot of grief and suffering and it's been a hard childhood for her and my dad grew up very poor in the country you know on a farm had to work quite young on the farm and he had quite a difficult childhood as well you know with his dad with harsh beatings and all this sort of stuff so when I do this ho opono opono, which I'm hoping I'm saying it properly, if not, like I said, I'm going to put it up on the screen. <laughs> Save me the embarrassment of saying it wrong again. The hopopono thing. Okay, so these four statements. So I'm going to share them with you because it's not a secret, they're everywhere. Um, and the idea is that when you say I'm sorry, it's uh, you're saying I'm sorry about for the, um, the moments that you've been unconscious, where you you've hurt others or you've done things because you weren't aware you know you weren't awake yet to what's really going on here and so you kind of um it's like you know <laughs> sleepwalking through life you know and you bump into things you bump into people and all this sort of stuff so it's really i'm sorry for being unconscious you know not realizing the truth of what's happening here not being aware so that's number one i'm sorry Number two is please forgive me. And for that one, it's really, when I do it, I really ask God. I go to the divine, I go to source, the universe. Forgive me, right? For being unconscious and maybe hurting this person or hurting that person or whatever. Because it wasn't deliberate. I was just going through life doing my thing, right? Um, it's never deliberate, you know, we don't deliberately go out to hurt another. If it is, it's because there is just so much pain inside that you have to lash out. It's just the way it is. Um, number three, so I'm sorry, I forgive you, please forgive me. Number three is, number three, I've been saying it all morning. <laughs> I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. Okay, have gratitude for being forgiven. And four is, I love you. So, I said it over and over again. I do it for like 15 minutes at a time. Now, I didn't just do it for me, you know? I, like, I'll do it for myself. And as I do it, I look at different people that I may have hurt along the way, right? Like with my mum, I would have said and done hurtful things with her. And then with my dad. So I'll do it a few times with each different person my sister whatever it is that she's holding on to whatever that is I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you and then I flip and I sit inside my mum I am my mum and I do the hapono thing from her right 
asking to be, you know, that she's sorry for whatever she's, whatever pain she's caused others. That please forgive me, you know. Um, but when I look at my parents, for example, I, I look at the situations that they took on where they suffered. And that's where I ask, you know, for them to say sorry and ask for forgiveness because that is what caused them you know so much pain so much suffering but they didn't realize consciously that those events were necessary in their lives so they didn't realize that that was part of the experience they came to have so that's where they took on so much pain and so much suffering you know and as it's funny because as I do it every time I do I see it dissolving from their energy field you know it's just it's like this cleanse it just feels amazing you know and at the end when I get to the I love you I see this spiral this beautiful spiral of white light going back up to source so first the, you know the I'm sorry cleanse 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 of this beautiful energy Please forgive me, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Thank you. The thank you is even more, you know, it's like being having a shower and getting all the dirt washed off. And then I love you. And in the I love you, spiraling back up, connecting back to source. It's just so beautiful. I get such a beautiful feeling from it. And whether I do it for myself or whether I'm doing it for all the different people in my life that have suffered, a lot you know and I wish for them to be free of that pain I wish for them to be released you know from that suffering so that is my prayer that is my intention when I do it and I am standing inside of them you know that it be healed for them that it be released for them and that they can let it go you know and it's just such a beautiful feeling I can't even can't even with words uh, when I do it for myself I feel such a freedom from anything I've been through from it's just incredible those four statements but for me when I do them the I'm sorry I always do it deliberately towards someone that I think may have been hurt by my unconscious actions and words especially when I was younger, going through my teen years and I was really lost at a, you know, a point in my life. Um, and then I ended up with a lot of pain and suffering and I probably did hurt a lot of people then. And then in my, before, I was about 40 when I did the IVF and I got really ill then and I lost a child and a baby. It was what, seven weeks, eight weeks. Um, and again, I went through another depression and there was a lot of pain that I had to go through uh, internally. And at that time as well, I would have said a lot of hurtful things. And I think it was through that time that my rift with my sister just became, you know, uh, prominent. Like she just, after that, didn't want anything to do with me. But uh, I know from that moment I was in a lot of pain. So, yeah. I just um, find when I do the I'm sorry, I have the photo of the person in front of me and I'm really visualizing them. I close my eyes and I see them in front of me. The I'm sorry, you know, for behaving unconsciously towards you, not being aware, you know, of um, what's really happening here. You know, that you are the love and I am the love and we're all connected by source. There's no separation. You know, even though we see ourselves as separate individuals, we are actually all connected by energy. So, this beautiful loving energy of source. So I'm sorry, and I see their beautiful face as I'm saying I'm sorry for behaving unconsciously. And then please forgive me. I always go to God for that, you know, because he's the only one that can absolve it all. Uh, please forgive me. And then I just see this beautiful like a washing it's being washed away and it's like water coming down and washing it all away and then thank you thank you is accepting that I've been forgiven for whatever it is I don't picture a particular event or word or anything that I just picture that person and the hurt inside of them because of me you see 
whatever it was because you can't be inside someone else to know what it is that they took on personally or what it is that they took on as an attack and that they got offended by unless they told you right but my sister stopped talking to me so I have no idea what it was that upset her so much so rather than think of oh it was this or it was that or it was the other because I'd be guessing I just assume all of it you know every word and every action that I did unconsciously that caused her pain then I see that as I'm sorry for that and then please forgive me God and then I just see that it's all dissolved because I was doing the best I could at the time I didn't know any better and neither did they and then thank you thank you because I know I know that God loves me so much that of course he'll forgive me because he knows what's in my heart and he knows that I don't wish ill on anyone you know I don't have any bad feelings for anyone he knows he knows my heart and then I love you and the I love you of course is uh, my love for them for that person but I love you you know to source for forgiving me for allowing me to have that experience and for being awake now that I realize so my darlings I would encourage you to practice that even just for yourself even if, if you're not picturing someone else but just for yourself forgive yourself you know say sorry for all the times you thought things about yourself that wasn't the most loving thought about yourself say sorry for every judgment you've ever had about yourself anywhere that you thought you were anything less than perfect sorry for that I'm sorry then ask for forgiveness because God and the angels are always you don't even have to ask it's already done but ask because it makes you feel good and forgive yourself you know forgive yourself for ever having believed that you were anything less than who you really are forgive yourself and then give thanks for the beautiful person that you are give thanks for this beautiful life you've been given and then I love you love yourself and know that you are exactly where you are meant to be you are exactly who you are supposed to be so love everything about yourself because you're perfect there's nothing wrong with you you're absolutely perfect just as you are all right my darlings i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now